And the things we say to other people can wreck them. Are you a life bringer or a life taker? This isn't the Marines. This is, this is the army of the living God. And we all have our place in that army, but none of us have a right to ruin somebody else's walk. And I'm deadly serious about that. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking His word right at this second. So if there are you, if you're out there, those of you out there, walking around casting judgments, even on the President of the United States and the leadership in this country, stop! It's time to start praying. Guard your tongue. We are going to be held accountable for the things that we say. And God doesn't take lightly the things that we speak. We can either be life takers or life bringers. Of course, I was going to say it the other way. But, <laughs> glory to God. I declare over you that you are a life bringer. That you, my brothers and sisters, are life bringers. That wherever you go, you will speak life into other people. You will declare life over situations. You will declare life over yourself. It doesn't matter if you feel it. It only matters if you come into agreement with it. God has not made us judges. And my next scripture is James 3, 8-10. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. And that's about taking cursing people like what happened to me. They didn't realize they were doing it, but it happened. And so we have to realize we can't sit here and, and, and start praising God and telling Him how much we love Him when we look at the guy next to us and we say we hate Him inwardly or we declare curses over Him or judgments over Him. You need to repent of those things if that's what you're walking in. All of us need to repent. I think we all go through this. But we need to realize that our tongues are vehicles that can ruin somebody's walk. Or we can build up somebody's walk. My job is to be an edifier and a builder, an exhorter, a cheerleader, if you will. And so is your job. We need to realize that. We need to come into agreement with that. We need to embrace that we are life bringers. What was one of the first things God said in Genesis? Let there be light, He declared. Let there be light. Why? Because <laughs> there was darkness. He had to drive the enemy out of this realm. <laughs> so we're going to drive the enemy out. We're going to take the enemy's kingdom by force. Through force of prayer. The kingdom of violence, or <laughs> kingdom of violence, <laughs> we don't come from the kingdom of violence. But the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and violent men take it by force. We, <laughs> we are going to take the kingdom of darkness in the same way. But we can only do it by speaking truth through love and bring light to situations. And then my. <laughs> Next verse is James 3.18. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. <laughs> I just love that, that verse right there. That just, it just enters my spirit, man, and it does something. I'm not sure what the Lord's doing with it, but I know that, that we have to sow peace where we go. We're, we're not to be a part of the world. We're not to be quiet. We're supposed to speak up when we see wrong things. But it's not up to us to judge or curse. It's up to us to pray. 
If you see if you see somebody rob if you see somebody robbing a little old lady, are you gonna stand there and, and, and drop your head to the ground and run away real quick, or are you gonna step up to the plate and, and go up and grab that accost or that robber and, and, and try and subdue him? Are you gonna say, No! Stop in the name of Jesus! But we don't have a right to go up to somebody and say, The devil's taking over your life! <laughs> Repent! I mean, if God, if God goes through you, goes into you, <laughs> that is not in, already into you, but if God rises up within you and, and takes a hold of you and, and, and you go over there and do that, in His power, then that's one thing. But I don't think God's going to do that. He might. I'm not going to say that He won't because I don't want to box Him up. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting here with me and, and letting me uh, speak this morning. My brothers and sisters, you are awesome in Jesus. And remember, we are life bringers. That we make declarations of hope. And that builds up our faith. And while our faith is getting built up, we're declaring life over other people. And we begin to see the possibilities. We begin to walk in that. We begin to realize that we are children of the Most High God. And I want you to recognize that you're a child of the Most High God. And that wherever you go, you bring life. Wherever you go, you bring peace. Not that you can, you do. We do this. Because we are children of God. If you carry the living God within you, and you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, you bring life. The enemy has to flee. We walk in authority and power. But our authority and power <laughs> it should be used for good things. Like building people up. Like helping the poor and the less fortunate than us. We're bringing love wherever we go. If we're walking in anger, we can't be bringing love. You can't have two kinds of waters coming out of the same fountain. So, <laughs> uh, this could go on and on and I need to end it right here because I do have to get ready for work soon. And I just want to say thank you, Father, for my brothers and sisters. That we do love you. That we do belong to you. And we do thank you for that. And we thank you for, for Jesus, Father. For sending him for us. And we thank you, Jesus, for willingly coming and bringing us life. That you are the head of the body, Jesus. And we look to you. That you are the bridegroom. We are the bride and you are the bridegroom. And we thank you. And we ask Holy Spirit that you would prepare us. Prepare us. Quicken our spirits. Speak your word of life into us, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I'll see ya. <laughs>